To me, email address internationalization is really about being able to express your own identity online in your own language. And it's kind of like uh, I look at my, my business card and one side is fully Chinese, the other side is fully English. And until you have the ability to express your email address in fully in Chinese, that Chinese side is incomplete. And that's what EAI is about. So it's not just about sending messages. Today, you know, we use instant messaging, we use uh, uh, mobile messaging but it's also about the identity that you keep online. There's still a lot of profiles, a lot of things that you use with your email address, and that's what EAI is about. So one of the things I, I really uh, care about here at ICANN, and especially at what is called UASG, Universal Acceptance Steering Group, is that we want to make sure that the technology is working and the environment is supporting universal acceptance and supporting the ability for people to use their identity in their own language online. And regardless of whether you think you know, today you're using it for, for global, a global audience or your local audience, the importance into, is to upgrade the net. It's the importance is to upgrade to these standards that allow your identity to be expressed in your own language. And the way that I see it is that in the future, uh, when do we really know when, when, when IDNs or EAI are, are, are really effective? It is when the time when hopefully my, my son or daughter, they won't even remember that uh, there is a time that it was not possible, that it was English only. That's when we know that EAI and IDN has arrived. I think that universal acceptance is one of the most overlooked issues today on the internet. Uh, most people, most internet companies seem to think that it's just an issue for a few countries, a few parts of the world, maybe the Far East and India and Russia. But it's really an issue everywhere. Even in Europe, apart from the English speakers, all other languages have uh, accents and uh, extended characters that cannot be used in email addresses and in uh, URLs. Even if technically they can, but uh, they are not really being widely supported. Uh, so I, I think that uh, everyone working in this industry has to put some effort to make this happen. And uh, yes, there is a business reward, which is the, the next billion users in the countries I mentioned before, but also in, in our own uh, Western European countries, I think that there will be people using it. And, and there's also a moral reason for doing this, an ethical reason, I'd say, because uh, this really allows people to use their language and, and actually to propagate their culture. I mean, if their culture cannot uh, get online, it will be impossible for them to transmit it to other people and to their children. And, and so these, uh, these cultures, these languages, these characters in the end will get lost. And this is really sad. So while it's fine that uh, the internet uh, allows everyone to communicate on a global scale, it's also important that it allows each and every culture in the world to, to continue existing. UASG, Universal Acceptance, is a concept where all the domain names, email addresses, must be accepted equally. This is very important for bringing next billion people online, bridging the digital divide, and also bringing all kind of cultures who are specific to languages world over. IDNs and EAI is a concept which allows people which are not speaking English to adopt domain names, email addresses, and surf the internet and take the advantage of the internet as such. IDN's initiative and EI initiative is very, very important for those people who have never experienced internet till now. Now they can experience internet in their own native language, in their own language which they are comfortable with and communicate with the global world, especially within their own community. I think UA is working very hard to bringing these initiatives spread word over those companies, registries, registrars and email service providers are taking advantage of these technologies and trying to take it to masses. I encourage all the governments, email service providers, registrars, registries to enable their setup to adopt IDN and EAI and take $10 billion opportunity waiting for you to address the untapped market via UA initiatives. Thank you very much. At Microsoft, our mission is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. That's why I joined the UASG, Universal Acceptance Steering Group, and why I'm so passionate about EAI, Email Address Internationalization. 
Email address internationalization allows people to more easily communicate with each other with people who use the same language and the same writing script using email. Email address internationalization still has a few challenges. There are still challenges when users of old legacy systems based on ASCII interoperate with new systems based on Unicode. At ICANN 60, XGen Plus introduced new techniques which improve the user experience when interoperating between the old systems and the new systems, guaranteeing a better user experience and higher confidence and trust of users who are communicating between different writing scripts. Hi, my name is Tui Levan from Thailand. I work for THNIC. We offer uh, .th domain name and uh, idn.thai. Uh, we, in Thailand, most people speak Thai, or not everyone can speak English. Even read and write is kind of difficult. Any product or service available in local language is always a plus. Especially in Thailand, most people don't speak English. We prefer to speak in Thai over English, and it's important to have uh, able to access in the internet with our own language. Uh, having to key in English on the English keyboard is it's difficult, so it's always easier to communicate in our mother tongue. THNIC is a founding uh, member of UASC, where uh, it's a place people, a specialist work together and good collaboration around the world. We uh, take an active role in advocating EAI and IDN in, in our uh, country. And the reason why we have done this now, because we see that if we don't do it now, the digital gap will get even wider, so we have to get ready. We see the advantage for Thai people for sure, and we uh, hope that other stakeholders will see the same picture and act on their part sooner. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Andrei Kolesnikov. Currently, I'm a director of Internet of Things uh, in Russia. In uh, 2010, we launched our first country code in IDN. Uh, which is .rf and still it's a uh, largest uh, IDN domain name uh, in the world uh, counting for 850,000 domain names which makes uh, our IDN larger in the world. Um, I should say a few words why it's so important to have uh, a domain name uh, on a natural language on the, we speak every day. Um, we can see it everywhere now. Uh, when we started, we didn't know it would be so popular, but now um, everywhere. I mean, everywhere you go, on the bus, on the street, uh, on advertising, uh, you can see this daughter rap domain names. It became the natural part of the Russian internet. And um, it, it's been a long time since we launched it. And I should say a few words about the universal acceptance uh, of the domain names in non-Latin script. It's very important because people, you know, they don't know Latin language. They are Latin characters. They use, uh, they operate the local uh, scripts. And uh, for them, it's very natural and important. So the universal acceptance is when the domain names in uh, non ASCII, non-Latin uh, scripts, are accepted by different applications. For example, uh, Facebook and Twitter uh, implemented this support uh, many years ago, and life of the social networks became much easier. Uh, the only thing is missing uh, currently is uh, full email support for the ID and domains. For the regular users, it will be really natural and logical to use a local script when sending email to their friends and businesses using the natural, uh, natural, uh, you know, the script they operate every day. So that's my just little input for the universal acceptance. Uh, and ICANN is doing a great job and uh, it, takes, it takes a long time. This things uh, never happened overnight. So it will take probably a couple of years until the full and complete support of the idea and domain is. Thank you very much.